Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my graphic design and art channel. And yes, we are back with another holiday themed design video. So for this video, I wanted to focus on custom typography. And so I wanted to make something a little bit holiday festive custom type. Um, but I've done custom typography videos specifically in the past, but they're not Christmas related. So what? They're not fun. So, okay, I need to slow down. I'm making custom type start to finish from a drawing into a vector. If you don't know how to do it, this is a video for you. And if you just wanna have some inspiration and make something fun for the holidays, this is also for you. So let's go. So the first step is sitting down and actually drawing out your custom type. So this can be anything you want and don't be intimidated by it. I don't really like drawing particularly and I'm not very good at it in my opinion, but I still love this part of typography and working in design. Um, so it's a lot of like measuring and making sure that your letters are cohesive and similar sizes. And that's why I love working on dotted paper as well and just measuring out with my ruler. I did a little bit of video magic here to just kind of start ahead because I'm just chaos when it comes to the planning phase and it, it's not really good for video <laughs> to be honest. So this is kind of just what the drawing looked like after I figured it out. It's really about my measurements, measuring how tall I want the letters to be, the X height, all of that, and then kind of drawing from there. Um, so yeah, I like to use the dotted notebook and this is how that turned out. Now your drawing can be pretty rough and it can be really, really as perfect as you want. So there's different options for you because once you bring it into Illustrator, that either makes it easier for you or might make it harder for you. So it's up to you. Sometimes I like to have like a perfectly drawn out and filled in colored everything letter or multiple letters. But when I'm writing out a word or something, sometimes it's just like, okay, I'm done. Like, let's get this show on the road. Like I can do this in my Illustrator file. So I brought that into Illustrator. So how I did that is you can scan it in or you can just take a picture on your phone or whatever. I just take a picture and try to be as flat as possible and then I bring it into Illustrator. So when you get into Illustrator, the things you need to do are use the pen tool. That's the main thing that you're going to be using. You can also build your letters based off of shapes as well. And I've talked about that in lots of videos. I talked about that on my last Adobe Live when I was on almost a year ago now. But yeah, um, go check that out. Times I've been on Adobe Live, I did talk about lettering and making letters. So the pen tool. The pen tool is just a tool that you have to practice like any other thing in design or illustration or anything. And the pen tool can be tricky and it's, sometimes challenging but you just get better at it the more you use it so definitely this is the type of project to practice and start making letters it's so fun i always start with a new layer in a contrasting color and i just get to work on the outlines making sure you know everything is kind of the exact same size and that's where my dotted paper really helps me but yeah feel free to be as detailed as you want here you know it can take a long time my type teacher when i took advanced typography was all about getting really really close and zooming in and just making sure every little piece was exactly where you want it so some of these design things that you're going to be doing with making typography is very detailed and not going to be your fastest project and that's just reality i'm sorry and i say i'm sorry because a lot of people want the quick design and i just think creating type is not the quickest thing it's probably one of the slowest things because if you're making a full typeface out of something you're making the whole alphabet that's going to take you so long to perfect and that's just how it is and that's why i'm so impressed by type designers so as you can see this is how the project went and how i paid attention to the little things and the shapes of the letters and like i said you can also start with shapes and start building it out from there but the pen tool is really your best friend here and as you can see my y didn't really work out the way i wanted it to so i ended up taking a shape a part of a shape from another letter and using that to inform what i was going to build on with the the y so it really helps when you start getting into a group of things um, like I did you know only one R because I knew the next R would be exactly the same and you can always do two R's and do them differently and then figure out what you want to do and yeah just build on what you have already as well when you bring it into Illustrator because that can really help you with shapes. So once all of those letters were done, I ended up adding in these little cutouts to the letters that I really think elevate it and make it look very festive. I was really trying to be on theme and I think I achieved that with what I created here. So 
So after that, because I knew I was bringing it into a mock-up, I made a little candy cane to put into a pattern. And then I found these tree ornament mock-ups to put the type text into. So yes, I brought it in to the mock-ups and I played around with the colors and stuff and I think it looks so cute. I was really happy about this. And it's not like something I would normally do, honestly, when I look at this type, this custom type. It's something a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I really like how, I, how it looks and how I did it. And I figured this would be a really good project to just talk about starting in custom type and it is a really fun process. So yeah, don't let it intimidate you. Don't let the drawing part intimidate you or having to measure things out or anything like that. Just get started and I think your skills will get better as you progress and as you practice and like I said practice makes perfect with design tools and design programs and you can do whatever you want you know it's really fun and it takes a little bit of time but I think it's really rewarding especially because custom lettering is such a great skill to have so yeah that was the project super festive super cute I'm really happy with it and I hope that it inspired you a little bit to maybe do the same project try something like this as well for the holiday season if you're just taking a break over the holidays try doing this try just drawing in a notebook try drawing out some letters whatever you want um so yeah i will talk to you in the comments please give this video a like and i will see you in my next video okay bye happy holidays